Hello everyone, uh, welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be talking about phase animation using phase animator that was introduced in iOS 17 and SwiftUI 5. Okay, so SwiftUI is equipped with a robust collection of animation tools that will enhance uh, basically the visual appeal of your iOS apps. Now these animations are interruptible, they are physics based for realistic movement and seamlessly integrated within the framework. Now with the release of iOS 17 and SwiftUI 5, a, there are several changes that SwiftUI has br brought in. Basically that are new and exciting to elevate the animation experience in our apps. All right, adding animation into the apps can be uh, easily achieved using with animation block or adding animation modifier in the view. Upon any changes of the state of the view, SwiftUI automatically applies the animation that smoothly transitions between the uh, previous and the new state. So let's go ahead and start with an example to see this in action using with animation and see like, you know, how it affects the state of the uh, app and basically state of the view. And then we're gonna basically build upon that example. Okay, all right, so we're gonna basically start by creating a uh, state property. And we're gonna call this animate, okay? And uh, inside the body, we're gonna create a navigation stack, which is gonna have a V stack hosting three circles of different colors. And we're gonna apply a scale effect to the um, uh, to those circles, okay? All right, so we have three circles. Now we're gonna basically apply the uh, scale effect. And we're gonna say whenever the animate is true, then scale it to its full size, which is scale 1.0. Otherwise, scale to 0 0.5. So at this point, uh, the animate value is false, meaning our circles are gonna be half of their size. Basically, um, that's what this 0 0.5 scale means, okay? Let's also add a uh, title. So we have like, you know, a navigation uh, title here. All right, and uh, then uh, we're gonna basically add on tap gesture. And this on tap gesture is going to animate or toggle the animate uh, flag that we have, the state variable, all right? So in this code, what we are doing is uh, we are creating a Boolean state variable uh, with the name animate and uh, we are declaring it using state at state property. Now this variable is used is going to be used to control the animation behavior. Now inside the body, you can see we have like, you know, three circles and there's we are using scale effect modifier to scale uh, the um, uh, the circles depending upon which uh, state animate variable is in. So if it is true, we're gonna basically show the circles in full scale 1.0. If the animate value is false, we're gonna shrink them down to 0 0.5, okay? On tapping, uh, basically uh, on the view, we want to change or toggle between true and false values. And uh, basically what that's gonna do is that it's gonna apply the scale animation. Now, if we build or uh, if we look at our canvas right now and like, you know, tap on the view, you can see the values are changing and they're changing like, you know, from between the scale effect one and 0.5, but they're not animating they're not interpolating between different states um 
and the animation actually looks almost like you know it instantly happens okay because there is no animation okay so what we can do is uh, we can use with animation and uh, with animation block actually helps us animate uh, by interpolating values between different states like you know from uh, true to false uh, whenever the animate is changing uh, what's gonna happen is the scale effect is gonna be applied on these uh, circles from 0 0.5 to 1 by slowly incrementing their values almost like you know basically animating and we don't have to basically define that uh, phase like you know ba basically different phases that our animation is going to go through uh, it's just all taken care of uh, uh, for us okay so let's go ahead and take a look so as you can see the animation is now taking effect because our view is nicely um, like you know growing into its uh, size and shrinking okay so this is a great simple animation path but what if we need a bit more control over how our views should animate between different states this is where newly introduced phase animator comes into picture okay so uh, let me go ahead and show you the api first so phase animator all right so phase animator basically what it does is uh, it cycles through uh, given phases when the trigger value changes and eventually it updates the view okay the phases uh, that we provide specify the individual values that will be animated to when the trigger value changes so basically there is an end state that it actually provides and it oscillates between those values basically just going back and forth between those values all right so let's go ahead and update our example to see the phase animator in action okay so what we're gonna do is first thing we're gonna remove the animation okay and uh, Let's go ahead and just format this a little bit better. We are also going to remove the scale effect because this scale effect is going to be applied inside the phase animator. And that's where we are actually going to change the state of the view. Okay. So after the on type gesture, we're going to create our phase animator. Okay, now phase animator takes uh, a few values. The one that we're going to use is going to be phases, trigger, and completion block. Okay, so uh, essentially uh, this overload right here. Okay, let's try again. Phase, okay. So basically what's, what's going to happen is uh, what we need is basically uh, we get the access to the view okay uh, that's why we need the content so we can update the view to the new phase now phases which is your first uh, parameter in here uh, it is basically the uh, sequence type and it defines the phases uh, between which our view is going to cycle through okay so it is a sequel it is a sequence type meaning like you know the the uh, the phase animator is going to keep going back and forth interpolating those values okay so let's go ahead and put an example here and we're going to basically uh, do the same thing what we were doing earlier uh, uh, going between scale of 1.0 and 0 0.5 so our phases are going to be 1.0 and 0 0.5 next comes the trigger now the trigger is basically what uh what will happen that will cause this animation okay and in our case it's going to be the state of animate um state property that is going to change whenever it changes we want to basically trigger the animation now the content or the completion block gives us access to the modified view and this is basically a view builder uh, tray enclosure and it gives us a proxy value uh, representing the view that is currently in effect so in this case we are applying this phase animator on this v stack so we get a copy of like you know that 
uh, B stack in this case. So we're going to simply say this is going to be the view. Okay. And it also gives us the phase in which our animation is in. So we can actually apply the, um, the phase effect basically use that phase value to interpolate between in between okay so what we're going to do is inside the uh, block we're going to say view dot scale effect and we're going to simply pass the phase okay all right let's uh, wait for this uh, to go away all right so now we have our phase animator defined and our phases are 1.0 and 0 0.5 now let's go ahead and tap on this and as you can see the view actually goes back and forth so it's almost like you know we're pressing a button and it's actually depressing and uh, like you know restoring its uh, state okay so that's the animation i'm clicking it only one time so click but basically your view uh, just animates between those two phases 1.0 to 0 0.5 and comes back to 1.0 completing it, completing its animation cycle and then finishing it off all right now we can actually apply more modifiers to this so we can say like you know while these phases are taking effect we also want to change the opacity for the view and so let's go ahead and simply pass the phase and the phase is going to have two values uh, because uh, we have like you know two values that are defined uh, it's going to have 0 0.5 and 1.5 and swiftia knows that Whenever there's something inside the phase animator completion block, it needs to, the value needs to be interpolated, but basically slowly decrease and slowly increase to create that animation effect. So as you can see, our view is slightly fading out and fading in. Okay. All right. So that's how easy it is to basically create uh, the um, phase animation. All right. Okay. So this is uh, basically a quick intro on the phase animator. In the next video, we are going to create uh, a pendulum animation using phase animator just to give you another flavor of uh, basically how to use the phase animator in your apps. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to create our pendulum animation. Thank you.